So the two big players in early, early inter intermediate uh, prostate cancer is surgery and radiation. These, are, these have been around the longest. Uh, standard surgery today is a robotic prostatectomy. Um, basically, it's a two-hour operation, a one-night stay in the hospital. You have a tuber catheter in your penis for seven days. With the robotic surgery, uh, it's evolved. We've been doing it. It's not a new procedure. We've been doing it for 12 years now, and it's become our standard uh, approach. The two biggest side effects of robotic surgery are erectile dysfunction and incontinence. Incontinence is actually very rare. Typically, it's temporary. You will leak or have to wear a pad for a few weeks to a few months. Then eventually, that will go away. Um, erectile dysfunction is a little more nebulous or misleading. A lot of it, to be honest with you, without sparing, with sparing you the details, is erectile function after the procedure really is dependent on where, where the man's starting prior to the procedure. If he's having good erectile function and he doesn't have high volume disease and we can spare both the nerves, you're looking at about a 75% chance that guy's going to have good erections afterwards. The guy who's not doing well, has some ED or is seeing some, some deficiencies, his erections aren't going to get better after the procedure. They never do after any surgical procedure. They might get slightly worse. Is it worse enough where he can't maintain an erection for intercourse? That's the, that's the challenge, and, and that's a one-on-one -on -one discussion with your urologist based on where you're starting with. The other big treatment modality we use a lot is radiation. Radiation is using uh, literally radiation to kill the cancer. There's two main ways that we deliver radiation. It's external beam, where you'll come for seven to eight weeks, Monday through Friday, and get 10 minutes of treatment. You'll go on the machine, and the machine will use x-ray energy to, to zap the cancer. Another way that we use a lot is uh, high-dose brachytherapy, where we will use, I call it straws, where we'll put straws into your prostate, they're not really straws, but it, they, they act like straws. And we can deliver the radiation directly into the prostate gland. And that's called high-dose brachytherapy. Typically, the advantage of high-dose brachytherapy is we can usually do it in one or two treatments, as opposed to seven to eight weeks of treatment. So it's, it's, much, it's much more tolerated, a little more invasive, but uh, it speeds things up. The other thing that we do less and less of today is uh, seeds. A lot of guys have heard of seeds where we'll take radioactive seeds through the perineum, that area between the scrotum and the rectum, and put in these radioactive pellets, and that will kill the cancer itself. The problem with seeds is the patient's radioactive for a few months after it. They can't be around their grandchildren. You can pee out the seeds. You can ejaculate the seeds out. So there is some risk to, to the family members. That's why at Beaumont, we've uh, moved away from seeds and moved more to the straw procedure or high-dose brachytherapy, which uh, both of these are very effective. Again, side effect profile is a little bit different, surgery versus radiation. Radiation side effects are less incontinence, but more irritative voiding symptoms. Frequency, urgency, blood in your urine. Sometimes you'll see change in bowel habits, you may see bloody stools, loose stools, things like that. And it will also affect your erectile function as well. So again, it goes back to you know, what's the least worse? You know, no one wants to do any of this. Who would want to do any treatment? But you got to pick a treatment, if your cancer requires it, where you could have a side effect that you are comfortable with, okay?